This is a very special place, just coming in here, you can feel it. You can just feel that sensation inside you that it's hard to explain. Graveyard Valley was the last place where the Chilcotin and the Shtatlim had a big war and a lot of, lot of warriors, a lot of men died there. Knowing that I have ancestors up here that, that um, have defended this territory um, kind of open, opens my eye. Um, we are descendants from the warrior called Saguas Ain. Between uh, two nations that uh, are here to meet us, we are trying to uh, set a bond so that we can help each other in order to hold the land. It is not really our land that was given to us by the Creator to hold on to and look after. And they did until they sent us all to residential school in order that we forget about our uh, traditional ways and our uh, land and the way we lived long ago. But it is coming back. This journey that we're going to do to go into Graveyard Valley to put up this plaque to symbolize the, the peace that we want between the nations. It's really important and uh, it's important to, to protect the land, to, to protect water, protect the animals, all the, the deer, and the, their migration routes and their fawning grounds. And, all those things are really important. It's part of our, it's part of who we are. It's part of our culture. It, and these are the kind of things that we need to be doing together to protect the land. If we are to bring these teachings to the young ones, they must come out here and we must be here to acquire that knowledge ourselves. <laughs> The monument they're putting up here is a, is a memorial for the warriors that died here between the, the Lillooet and the Chilcotans. And the work they are doing is very special. It's to let people know what happened here so this can be kept the way it is forever. It's a really good thing to, to continue this kind of work. Um, 
creating friends and allies with our, our neighboring nations. Because for the last 500 years, the, uh, the colonists have, have learned to, uh, to conquer us by dividing us, getting us to uh, fight amongst ourselves for, for pennies while they're stealing all the dollars. And if all the resources are being extracted, there's, there's nothing left for, for our future generations. All this land that we see around us is, is really precious. And by them going to battle, um, it's brought us together. Like over how many years we finally come together and we realized, you know, we gotta fight together in order to protect this place. And that's what the plaque is about. Nations coming together to protect the land. Hopefully the plaque will be there for future generations to see and, and the graves are getting harder to see now but hopefully the monument will stay there and you know when people realize that our, our people are buried out here and that's I believe the people who are here have a very good heart and they are serious about what is happening here and they totally have my respect, each and every one of them who came here. Colonists, they tend to plan in five, 10, 20 year increments. They're not thinking, what's gonna happen with my great, great, great grandchildren? That's the way we've got to look at it. Is this going to be here for my great-great-grandchildren? Are they going to be able to walk into Lost Valley or Graveyard Valley and find clean water to drink, pure air to breathe, good food to eat? Are they going to find those things? This is our heaven. Right here. And we gotta protect it. I think we're the only ones that can do it. I really believe, my heart, that it's time that we come back home to this land here. And that we come back to it together. And that we we put our put our minds together. Put our minds together to figure out. Now we're going to protect it.